Hello everyone! Yo! Yo. Hi. Hello! It's uh it's Dipper Game Spy Cast Halloween 2020. 2020. This one's a little special because you get to see something on the screen. We're playing the pumpkin carving simulator. It's very yeah. epic. There's no yeah, audio, but please enjoy it. We're gonna talk about festivities so we can get excited for the October. What's even going on in October? Oh my god, I'm tired. Thanksgiving! And Halloween. There you the go. Americans oh, are gonna I'm be like, excited. no, not Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, They're gonna yeah. be wrong. And then, tasty. and then Europeans are gonna be like, what is it? What is that? We ah. colonized the world. They did more than just colonize. <laughs> oh, I'm oh. sure they did. But anyway, let's not get into the politics. I'll start off by saying that uh, I'm glad it's fall, honestly. Oh, finally. I'm very happy about that. I missed it. Like, still too hot yeah, yeah. that's that's yeah, the thing about definitely. september i i like when you get into like now the trees are finally starting to, to to get the pretty colors and it's like definitely hoodie season it's it's pretty it's getting serious. there yeah but i will say uh another reason why i'm pretty excited um is obviously because of all of the festive stuff because i'm the type of person who gets really into like seasons and events like that like, that's why I don't like summer, because when it comes to there's summer, nothing. there's just not a lot to look forward to. It's just all kind of the same thing, because June is sucky. July is pretty cool, but then August is just July again, but worse. So. It's the Sunday of the year. Yeah. <laughs> and then September's that's a very the good Monday, statement. Because September is not that great either, but it's all right. School's Late September, September is better than early September. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. I guess a bit more promising, but... Uh, I, you know, you guys remember I made the video not too long ago where I was explaining how we were gonna get back into regular uploads for September. I genuinely did not anticipate how disastrous online schooling would be. It is nightmarish. It is Yeah, bad. I'm lucky. It's and thankfully, I don't have so school this year. <laughs> Logan, uh, your school started recently, right? Yeah. How's that going? Is, uh, I have access to Photoshop again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be making more monstrosities. <laughs> Go, uh, yes. you're, you're, you should uh you should send oh, one no. so we can put it in the video. Oh, I don't have one made yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, I'll send one soon. Okay, cool. That sounds. And then like everyone and then everyone will understand all all I did for grade twelve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you guys have ever watched the uh the the rat movie. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're oh, at the, the rat movie. At the very <laughs> end, at the very end, there's a part where you get to see Logan photoshopping. So. You should watch that. It's on the second channel. That's still a magnum opus, really. True. It's, very... it's not as good. Okay, it's not as good as mine. Yes. All right. It... Which was I mean... stop motion Seinfeld, where uh, Kramer kills himself. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. See, I, I imagine a lot of if that was like lost media. Is it lost media right now? Oh, I don't know. I, I'd have to double check. Because if it is, I feel like a lot of people would be like, this is very valuable, but trust me, I watch it. It's not worth it. It's, it's so funny. It is. It's something you watch once and then you you try and forget. <laughs> I feel like this is really good, like mindless stuff to like watch. This is yeah, a very good. Is. This is very good idea. Um, this is every podcast from now on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just find an obby. To... <laughs> no, it's just this one specifically. <laughs> No, this is special Halloween though, so we'll have to find a Christmas one. No, oh, I, I should probably mention where uh, this is a little ways off, but we will be doing another New Year's one. That is a very good uh, tradition, I think. Yes. One thing that I think is worth mentioning is that even though like ev all of my plans got thrown off, uh, hardcore will be starting soon. I'm not. I'm gonna stop promising dates. I'm gonna try as soon as I can, but. I want to do it when it's like ready. So, um, I I'm, I'm really will be good. I'm really done with like the whole scheduling thing. I'm just gonna upload stuff when it's ready, and it'll be done when it's ready. I did like I still did a ton of work, but I'm just I'm not going to upload it in the name of a schedule if I'm personally not like thinking it's prepared for viewing. Because I don't want to just annoy everyone with uploading something and then they have to wait a long time. Yeah, because, like, the first couple episodes are done, aren't they? It's yeah. just not leaving everyone to wait. Yeah, I've know. seen them. They're pretty epic. It's it's pretty it's easy same. to be like, oh, yeah, just upload it now. But it, in the long run, it will be very annoying for everyone. 
But you get Spooky Month, and Spooky Month is good because I don't really have to worry about perfectionism because it's just a disaster anyway, so... It's, it's just a fun time! I mean, this is the quarantine edition, so we're good. <laughs> it has been a year since we've recorded, though. Legit. Yeah, Jeez. we really haven't recorded anything. Because we were busy, and then COVID hit. We did backlog a ton of stuff, obviously, so yeah. it, you, you guys aren't really going to feel the effects of that, but for us, it's like, it's been a really long time. Oh yeah, I was thinking the other day about the My Sims episodes that we filmed, like, specifically the Agents one. Yeah. Just to elaborate on the whole festivities thing, though, like, I don't know what it is about the fall seasons, but there's just something that's so... There's just so many holidays in succession, like, you got Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and it's like... They're also close together, so it's like, it's just good times. It's just really good feel. It's like a good change of pace. Like, the song yeah. is very monotonous. I did the same thing every day, and it got really tiring sometimes. Yeah, yeah I was just constantly working on videos, so. And and then no one even saw it, and people still haven't seen what I worked on. So, it, for all the people know, I was just sitting on the couch doing nothing. The Jouch. Oh, Playing the Persona. Jouch. Yeah, playing and Persona even then, 5. most of the time, I was too stressed to do that, so... Jackson just has, like, a perpetual backlog of games. Yep. It's very good. I also own Persona 4 and 3. Persona but you can bad. Play <laughs> Popular thing bad. Yes. Popular thing bad. Oh, I feel that. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... I think the last time we did a podcast for this, we talked about what the best Halloween candies are, and, uh... I think it's probably worth asking what uh, what the what the Halloween candy you're looking forward to most is this year because God I need some sugar in my system. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good question. Is it still sour oh, stuff no. for you, Logan? Oh it'll always be sour stuff. <laughs> it's pretty good. I I will melt my mouth <laughs> just to continue eating sour stuff. <laughs> Logan strikes me as the kind of person who would, like, get those sour Skittles at the movie theater, completely <laughs> scrape up the roof of his mouth, but be so happy. <laughs> Stop. I want to say you're wrong, but you're not. Because I've done that before. <laughs> uh, wait a second, guys. I almost have the rainbow knife. <laughs> Yo. How much do you need for that? I don't know. 2,000 okay. candy. Oh my god. Yikes. I don't know, I guess uh, I've been grinding. Gotta murder You've been grinding? someone in order to get enough. Did get the big backpack first? I almost got I don't think I did, cocaine. I don't think so. You should. You don't even grind this much in Persona 5. Oh, yeah. That's a lot you do. No, I actually do, I, I go to Mementos and... <laughs> Jackson, did you just... Do you know that you're top on the leaderboards for everything? No. Almost? No, no I'm no, not. No, only for candy. What? I have I have the most Wait, where? Or I have uh, Yeah, look at the leaderboard. You have the most candy. <laughs> there I am. That's uh there he is. That's not something to brag about. I'm going to buy the knife. <laughs> it's time to buy this, guys. Here we go. Whoa. And I'm gone. Now you're at the top. <laughs> what happened? What happened? It should be. I have the rainbow knife. Oh. This is half done. Let's Play, half Alex, podcast. As Fair all enough. things it's should both. be. We've done this before, so it's nothing new. So it's just, it's a faster knife. How much do you need to get to the end? Four, uh, you need 4k to go to the next area. Oh, well. I'm starting, I'm starting to build up to that. Now I'm back to the start again, because I bought the knife. Welcome to Clicker Games. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that this isn't really, like, related to Halloween, but it's just it's just a Halloween time podcast. Not all of it has to be related to it, but uh, recently, uh, I don't know if I've talked about this on the channel, but you guys know that I've gotten really into Taiko no Tatsujin. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is a, that? Yeah. I'm a rhythm game guy, so like the fact that oh, you, oh, yeah, you get the little okay. Taiko guy and you got all the notes, it gets pretty extreme and I've gotten really good to the point where I can do some pretty high level they, songs they have those taiko guys in tekken as like cosmetics <laughs> yeah, oh crazy. yeah don chen and kachan are pretty much the best mascots of anything ever but um i love i love those games but a as you might know already they uh for the longest time were not available in english they were japanese only 
which is weird. I have a really big critique of that because they, they brought it to the PS2 at one point and it failed. But when they, they made five Taiko no Tatsujin games for the Wii and they did not translate a <coughs> single one of them, despite the fact mm. that the Wii was at the height of its life cycle Everyone loved peripherals, so like a taiko drum would have really succeeded. And uh, I don't know, I feel like it would have been really cheap because there's very little translation work, but apparently no. It wasn't worthwhile to them, so they waited until the Switch. I don't I'm not as into the newer ones as the more classic games, but I'm I'm the type of cynical person who complains about Taiko no Tatsujin, even though it has the amount of differences that FIFA games have, so I don't know. <laughs> Basically, what I'm getting at is that I was practicing so much that I actually almost got carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> oh, God. Like, I... Your arm in a brace. I went so extreme that my my thumb fell asleep. Like, it went numb. And so I haven't been able to play for a month. <laughs> I'm Chance, very tired. Please be careful. Yeah, I'm trying to be careful, but it's pretty bad timing because around the time that that happened, I, uh... I actually imported a few of the games <laughs> because I I'm not as big of a fan of the of the Switch one. They the song list I don't like because even though I compared it because it, visually it's like the same game every single time. So you you know you could say it's like it's like buying the same FIFA game every year, but they have completely different uh, song lists and uh, they visually they change a little bit. Like they give you different like costumes and stuff, but they upgraded the UI and I don't like it as much mm. so i wanted to get the older ones but i can't play them because i don't have a japanese system and because my thumb hurts <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now i know some people might question the fact that i even bought them without having a japanese wii u but uh the the reason why was because importing stuff is such a pain it's really expensive have you guys ever imported anything i'm actually no. um not yet I'm it's planning fun. on importing a couple vinyls, but that's going to cost me like a hundred bucks. Yeah, that, it will cost you that much because, especially in Canada, shipping and handling is pretty brutal. And yeah. Also you the know, fact that they're vinyls, so they're extremely yes, delicate. Exactly. Depending on what you're ordering, it'll it'll go up in price. So I guess, I guess this is probably the best opportunity for me to talk about this. I know I'm going off on tangents, but whatever. It's a podcast. I don't care. You get to see <laughs> pumpkins in the background. It's Halloween enough. Um, this one person has an army of monsters following them. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what? Let's go! Let's get them. I can see it in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But, uh, How long so... have we been on this call? I'm curious. Uh, three and a three half hours. hours. Three and a half hours. Three and a half hours, oh my goodness. <sighs> That's I'm like so tired. <laughs> yeah. This is the Sleepy Time Podcast for Halloween. Okay, as long as, as long as we're sleep. saying stuff, like it's just silence. I've had the least amount of sleep out of probably all of you, and I'm I seem to be the one who's most awake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just I don't know. It, it's funny because um, even though this is like the quarantine spooky month, I just it's so fitting. <laughs> oh, I was followed here by a skeleton. That's not cool. I'm getting to that point where my headphones are starting to irritate my ears. Mine are like dead weights. Yeah, but anyway, what, um, what I was gonna say was I, I was trying to like do some research on how to get my hands on these games, um, because it's very popular in Japan. So I was thinking that it would be affordable, right? But the problem is everyone uh, on eBay. A lot of the sellers are scammers. They will uh, mm. they will list things and it will seem promising, but uh, what the picture is will be just something they found on uh on google images so what what you're getting is not necessarily what's in the image and it's oh. a lot of money to spend when you don't know if it's going to be real um, yeah now a lot of the items you can find on amazon japan but mm -hmm. you have to live in japan to use it now you can get some items but if it's a personal seller you have to use a proxy service and a proxy service is not only expensive, but it's also a gamble. You could and just sketch. get the item, yeah, and you might just not get it. And if there's problems, you have to take it up with, like, the import service from Japan. Like, they won't do anything for you. So, it's not a risk I was willing to take. Um, 
So the reason why I ended up getting them was I was following along listings on my email and I got like this notification that a guy, I think he might even be like a collector or something, he was selling a lot of Japanese games and he had every single Taiko no Tatsujin game for the Wii U and he was selling them for really good prices and the shipping was good. So I asked if I could do a bundle and he gave me a good deal. So now I have them oh. and I'm very happy. Nice. I just have to find a way to play them, but uh, another big deal is that they're really fun multiplayer games, so I'd really like to play them with you guys, along mm. with Donkey Konga, because I now have that. Of course. <laughs> I just think it, it, there's a lot of really fun uh, party modes. There's one in Wii U that isn't in the newer ones, where it's like a it's like a relay where you pass the controller to each other to oh, try wow. and play the song. It's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> There's also a Japanese song quiz, which we wouldn't be able to read, but that just sounds great. I'm doing a podcast! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I heard. That is the most Dipper Games thing we've had in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, doing a, I'm doing a podcast! Get out of my room, I'm playing Minecraft. Uh, what, what games has everyone been playing? Like, um, just like, um, so far over the last week. <laughs> I've just been very late to, like, every party. So it's been, like, Animal Crossing, The Sims 4, and I finished Fire Emblem Fates. I just bought Among Us, so if in case you're wondering, we all have it, and we're gonna play it for the show sometime. It's got uh, cross-play, so we can play. I've been playing a play. lot of Fallout. It's like a lot of Fallout 4 and basically nothing else. I've been really swamped with work, so what I have been playing, as embarrassing as it is, I've been playing Mario 3D Collection. Why is it embarrassing to play Mario? Because I paid money for that game. I mean, I guess. See, the thing is, playing Mario Galaxy in HD is a very calming thing for me. Oh, the $60 port! Yes, but to be honest, Mario Galaxy is worth that much money to me. I yeah, really, I really like that game. To make it a full price game. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm very For cynical of it, even like though. Over yeah. 10 years old at this point. To be fair, I did buy it so I could get the exclusive Mario pins, which are getting shipped to me this month. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bunch of stuff coming to me in the mail. I have that, and I have the Joker amiibo. Because it looks cool. I, I know it's Society the one from Persona Joker or Persona Joker? <laughs> Persona. There's I a... think of the one from Batman too. Oh, I'm climbing up the ranks, guys. I'm I'm regaining my throne. Just one person has <laughs> I 18, dipped a while thousand. ago. Oh. What do you mean you dipped? I'm drawing right now. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought you meant. I thought you were so invested. You were you were selling stuff. Dipski no. and the dipski. I don't know, I've just been so busy with school. It's just hard for me to have the energy to do a lot of stuff. Yeah. I just hate it. I cannot emphasize how much I hate it. And that's why I'm so excited about Halloween. Because it's just going to be so feel-good stuff in my eyes. Because it's just, God, I love the fall and winter. It's just too good. I'm pretty lucky when it comes to school since this first week's been fairly slow. Yeah. Have any of you heard of a game called Hades? No. Yeah, I, I saw you. I feel playing. like I've heard of it. Yeah. It's a roguelike made by Super Giant. Oh, right. Yeah, I've seen it. You like roguelikes though. I'm I'm yes. not too good at them. I have I have a lot of. That's like 25 percent of my library. I like Crypt of the Necro Dancer. That's a that's a good game. I want to get the one that's on Switch. That uh that ah. the Hyrule the version because I just want. Yeah, because I just want to get more. Crypt and Necro Dancer stuff. That's a very That's fun fair. roguelike. You know what I'm excited for is that PS3 emulator that people have been working on. It looks really good. I don't know. You know, the okay. weird thing to me is that the PS3 library really just blends together for me. There's a few, like, standouts. It just feels like a lot like, of it wasn't really exclusive, per se, and then it later yeah. got released on another platform. Well, Metal Gear Solid 4, uh, that hasn't been released anywhere other than the PS3. And that looks really good at, like, with 60 FPS. It looks so good. Speaking of PlayStation, uh, the new Nier game comes out in April, so I'm very excited about that. Oh, yeah, the What's new What's it called? Nier game. Uh, it's Nier Replicant, and then version blah 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 blah. It's funny. Does uh, it it's... have 2B? Uh, it is 
so uh, Automata takes place before the first Nier game, so this is like a yeah. remake of it with the gameplay oh. style of Automata. So it's kind of like, oh, it's, it's yeah. kind of the best of both worlds, and I'm really excited to play it. Because, yeah, I remember like yeah. like nobody played Nier. Yeah, no, it was not very popular until 2B happened. They just want robot. Automata is actually like really good. Yeah, I know. I've played it before. Yeah, it's a great game. I, I, I've not been able to play through it because I don't own it, but... Yeah, it's, it's the type of game that you have to play through more than once, but it, like, it's not actually a bad thing. It's really weird because if it, you, you'd think it would be a chore, but you feel really incentivized because a lot of stuff happens to characters that you don't see, and then you end up having a bunch of stuff come together, and it's like, oh, okay, so that's where this game is headed. <laughs> Doesn't the ending of the original Nier, like, kind of suck, if I remember correctly? I've heard that it does, but I, I, I'm i pretty sure, like, they made two versions. They made one for the Western audience, and then they made one for Japanese uh, audience. Because the publisher was like, oh, you know what? American people don't like children. So make the main character an adult. And he was like, uh, no, I'll, I'll still have my character be a child. That was, that's just some localization sh- but like maybe we'll change this for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Yeah, maybe that was like because I I realize now that if they had localized Taiko no Tatsujin, it probably would have just been all two thousands pop songs, and that's uh, that's not really. And that would hurt worse. Well, we did get it with the first one. It's very disturbing to see uh see some of the songs like they have tub thumping, and you just see this Taiko drum. It's just not, it does not make sense to me. They have the Tohu songs in the original ones, and I'm all good. They uh, they do have them, and they're very hard, but I'm good at Bad <laughs> Apple. <laughs> no access to the new area. Just so you know, I left Pumpkin Carver because I've been sitting in the same position for like three hours, and that's not good for my neck. <laughs> so now I'm laying down. <laughs> yeah, we dropping in numbers, boys. Yeah, we've been on... I call for a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh, sure. What the hell? What is this thing? I don't know. It's just kind of funny because I don't know if anyone's actually going to find this podcast entertaining, but we just want to sit and talk about stuff whenever. Yeah. Um, I think at the beginning we're like, yeah, the podcast is going to be exciting, but we're, we're tired. <laughs> The it's it's becoming a long, long day. Yeah, the Halloween podcast has never been the most exciting thing in the world. Yeah, it's just supposed to be enjoyable. Well, speaking of Halloween, is there a specific character that you've ever wanted to be? Like, if you if you could just have, like, the outfit for it and be that Oh, old. so many. I have too many as well. I don't know. Uh, David Burns' big suit. <laughs> I've only ever been Link, because it's the only thing I could afford. See, right, whenever I put, I put what I wanted me... to dress up as in chat... I always forget exactly what I'm into. If people are like, what shows do you watch? And I'm like, I don't even know. You could be oh. Tulip from Infinity Train. <laughs> yes, welcome. actually, I would love that. <laughs> Probably I thought it would be something you like. Someone in a suit of armor. Oh, I'm like blanking on its name right now. Hold on. Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, uh, wait, which character? The, where's the mask? Or is the skull? Oh, uh, oh, Mumbo oh, Jumbo. Oh, yeah, Mumbo yeah. Jumbo. Yes, I want, dude. Mumbo Jumbo as a costume would be epic. I'm surprised you didn't say Shuichi, Jackson. I was thinking probably that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna be I'm gonna be Shuichi. I can wear a hat. Very good. <laughs> I was thinking maybe either Kyoko from River City Girls, or I'd want to be Azura from Fire Emblem Fates, just because she's pretty. Mm. <laughs> I just want to be pretty. That's just my thing. I'm gonna stop myself from. Yeah, uh, it's okay. Fire. I know you don't like Fire Emblem. <laughs> and actually, I'm gonna get, throw you a bone here. Fates is the worst one. No, it's oh, not. I, again, I wouldn't know because I just don't play Fire. Because I don't like Fire Emblem. I don't have a bias. Except, I do. Lucian is better. Awakening is the best game. <laughs> <laughs> Awakening is pretty pretty great though. Awakening is my favorite Fire Emblem game of the I two would that I've played. Well, but anyway, we'll stop torturing Caleb. Well, the good part is you played the only good Fire Emblem games. So. What about Echoes? It's too okay. hard. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay, maybe. Ah, uh, that one's di- that one is definitely difficult. Yeah, especially if you're a casual player. 
you know, I don't understand day. why everyone's like, don't play casual. I'm like, I will play however I want, sir. People who gatekeep playing games like that are just really annoying. It's like, yeah. why do you even care? We're all gonna be friends and you're gonna like it. I, I only really feel that way towards Animal Crossing players because it's such a communal hey, game Animal that the Crossing way that players. other people play it directly affects how you experience the game. It's not like if someone who plays Fire Emblem plays it casually, that doesn't impact you. Yeah. But when other Animal Crossing players are all hyper fixated on one thing, it's all you oh, see. Oh, Raymond. Basically. Uh... Yeah, Fire Emblem is a personal experience versus Animal Crossing that's a community experience. I It's so weird because it's just gone so mainstream that now it's an outlet for politics, which I think is just really frustrating. Yeah. Just how... Wait, how, how is it an outlet for politics? Oh, you want, you want to know how? Oh, oh boy. It's, okay, so Animal Crossing is so mainstream that politicians have started using it for campaigns... Because they know that a lot of the population that can be hard to kind of get to, uh, you can just hop Girl, into Animal Crossing and promote your cause there. Uh, and, uh, I'm going to dig I a hole. I want to dig a hole and just die. I'm digging a hole in Minecraft. Diggy diggy hole. I think it's worth asking, uh, which was worse, Pokemon Go to the Poles or the Animal Crossing stuff? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I'm being shot. Pokemon Go to the Pools was funny, though. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, pretty great. For all the wrong reasons, obviously. But I'm not going to get into this too much, but I will say that when you guys see this podcast, it will be very shortly that the election goes down. I was going to joke about just marrying our viewers to get them out of there. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. Sorry, we're you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Aaron, I hate marriage. All right, we need to, we need to regroup on this. This, this took a bad day. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was yeah, I, I was really confused on like where this was going. I don't. I Actually, just... we never finished the candy question. Yo, so let's go back I to that. Emeralds in Minecraft. Uh, what? I found emeralds in Minecraft. Good. My favorite yeah, anyway. Halloween candy. I like <laughs> Twix a lot, and I like oh, I love Snickers. Twix. Mm-hmm. As far as chocolate goes, I, I I've said Crunch Bars are still a favorite of mine. But as far as gummies go, gummy worms are pretty much great, as well as Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> yeah. Aaron, I know you like chocolate, just in general. Yeah, I was gonna say, I have a really hard time picking a favorite chocolate. Because I love chocolate. That's um, me too. <laughs> I really like Coffee Crisp. Yeah. You I like, don't any like of the... <laughs> I like any of the... Like chocolate bars. Like honestly, I don't even have a favorite candy. I'm just like chocolate. Yeah, it's like just give me the chocolate. I don't care what it is. Caleb, if you could have like just like a just infinite of one one candy. That's, uh, that's the question right now. I don't know. I'm not like a big candy fan. Uh, I guess maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Like Jolly Ranchers. Oh, that's a good choice. And they come in different flavors, so it's easier to not get sick of them. Hmm. Or maybe Starburst. I don't know. Yeah. Well, now I want Starburst. That's a problem. Yeah, we need to stop talking about candy. It's like almost dinner time. Uh, I didn't eat lunch. I would have Starburst. Why didn't you eat lunch, Lee? Because I woke up and then I went for a run and then I did a bunch of stuff and I just forgot to eat. God, you like actually have your life figured out. That's Yeah, I didn't have lunch either, but that's because I ate a late breakfast. Yeah, I woke up late too, so that's it's not my fault. She has been been forgetting to eat for the last couple of months, and it's not been good. <laughs> yeah, I... I've had to like sometimes snarf down food during Sorry. lecture. I just I hate online schooling. I just cannot emphasize how bad it is because they just. They're so vague, but they expect so much, even though they're like, we need to have an understanding time. And I'm like, bro, I'm paying money for this. Understanding? What? Yeah, they're like, we need to be understanding if things don't go as planned. And I'm like, bro, please don't be bad. Please don't be bad. I'm like losing my mind. (laughs) This is like the most tired I've been on camera since the all-nighter stream. Oh, God. I was talking to to my friend about that the other day because she was there on the stream. Oh fun. my gosh. 
Well, you know the person who drew the chat out fan art? Oh, yes. Yeah. We will, um, just saying. That's my friend. We will eventually, in the coming years, start live streaming much more regularly because I'm going to get better equipment. And I'll have a no. second monitor, so there will be a lot more of that. Less of, like, the really big series. We'll still do series and whatnot, but games can be tricky, so. Ooh, what would we live stream then? Hmm. Like, what do you hope to? Well, some games that are, like, just not fun to watch in Let's Play form, like Pokemon, something like that. Ooh. Yeah. Like yeah, I want to um, live stream Pokemon if you can do it. I want to play Black and White really badly. Oh, I miss Black and White. Yeah. That's the, be that's the best Pokemon game. It's yeah, I would game. say that's the best one. The big group recordings we do will always be kind of like a standard thing but yeah. if there's like uh if there's ever like a series because I, I like to edit down no. it's getting hard to edit the longer what? series and i feel yeah, bad because i can't upload so them rich. as regularly the shorter form ones are easier didn't we talk about doing a mario kart tournament at one point or did i just make that up in my head you might have made that up in your head. Well, that sounds yeah. fun. That does sound yeah. fun. We, I really do want to do more creative stuff like that. I don't really want to do as much like standardized Let's Play stuff because, you know, I have less time to make videos. And when I'm just strictly doing just Let's Play series, it's just not as fulfilling or fun. When it was yeah. more regular, it was a lot better. But, you know, doing creative stuff like that, I think, would be a really good way to go about things. Just little, little fun gimmick stuff. It's just, I don't know. There's just, I always, I keep going back to this stuff. Because making videos is fulfilling, but I need it to continue to stay fun. And we're, get it, we're getting into a tricky patch. I really got to get the videos we've recorded out. I got to get hardcore on the way, and then we can kind of go forward with stuff. But <laughs> it'll be, it'll be a time. Yeah, we'll get there. This is probably the most down-to-earth, casual thing we've ever done for the show, so hopefully this is a good <laughs> change of pace for everyone. Yeah. But yeah, it really is just kind of... Uh, there's a specific meme that I'm thinking of, and I can't I'm verbalize so it. I'm so tired. Logan and I, I, I just, like, I just lost all my energy. I was like, yeah, let's go. And I know. Now I was like, <gasps> yeah. Logan Everyone's and I about got too invested in this. <laughs> Everyone else is I'm gone. Still, I just realized I'm still going. Yeah, me too. I wasn't thinking about it either. I guess it's probably entertaining for people to watch as background maybe. video. Maybe. The I meme. think I wasted all my energy. Well, not wasted, but I got like lost all my energy doing the rake. Yeah, yeah the too rake. Much yeah. Anxiety. I think probably the most upsetting part is that we we actually only have three videos for the for the event so yeah. far. That's okay. The other It'll ones be one will be short form. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Yes. Yeah, it's not a good be... idea to drink your own pi your own piss because that's all the toxins. <laughs> the Bear Grylls is lying. <laughs> be Bear Grylls' cameraman. If there's one message you, you take yes. away from Dipper Games this holiday season. Do Don't drink not your own drink pee. your own piss. <laughs> Don't be Bear Grylls' cameraman. Yes. <laughs> one quick thing. Mm -hmm. I forgot to mention is that I ended up because the the Tyco games I ordered they I was so happy with them and so impressed with how they arrived I was like this is probably the the only opportunity I'll ever have to get these games in good condition so I just went and bought the rest that he had so I have I have the Wii games for Tyco on the way well and we I should also I'm oh, sorry, you're still talking. It's just Keep it's going. just interesting because I've really lost enthusiasm for brand new games. I just I I've come to terms with the fact that I just I don't think I like the Switch and I don't like what Nintendo's been doing recently. Yeah, so, same. You know, there's a lot that we missed out on in the Wii era, which I think a lot of us look back upon fondly. Even the Wii U era was pretty good um, as far as games go. So it's kind of fun to go back and get uh, get these games that you know they have that aura of the of the games I like, but it's still new to me. The only game I've been really looking forward to is Cyberpunk 2077. Oh yeah, same. That's about it. <laughs> okay, that's the first yawn of the session. That's how you know where this is heading. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a wall. 
It's been a long month, let's just say that much. That's why you didn't get any hardcore yet. Yeah, it's been, it's been like a long three. year. It's a struggle. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just trying my best. We're all trying our best. <laughs> Spooky month is just Dude. like... It would just be so wrong for us not to do it. Yeah, we have to do it. Well, especially because like we're not really going to get much Halloween this year, like in terms of what we're used to. So we might as well like do it our way, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of people then. are going to miss out on their Halloween. We're going to have yeah. to really try to get that festivity out because it's going to be really tricky. Mm -hmm. well, I'm kind of hoping my parents will like still buy candy, so at least I can get the feeling of having yeah, Halloween. <laughs> that's the big part. You really have to get your your hands on some candy. Yeah, I think my dad probably will, because he'll usually buy some boxes for the kids and, like, a couple boxes for us. But... No, it's for me. All for me. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to shout out the guy who sold the Tyco to you, because he gave you a discount. Oh, right, yeah. He, uh... Wherever you are, Mr. Guy, thank you. That was very nice. He gave me 20% <laughs> off, which is a big deal. <laughs> yeah. I got a proper bargain. I think that is what we call a pog champ moment. Chip. <laughs> Slow, slowing down. Yeah. Slowing. Mm -hmm. Slowly losing steam. All right. What well, we gotta have some closing remarks regarding Halloween because I I got I gotta seep as much festivity out of this season as possible, and uh, it's gonna be a tricky one. That's for sure. I just think if you surround yourself by the, the fun events, and, like, I, I think it's important to, you know, go all out with, you know, I don't know, decorations and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just that kind of stuff. I know, I mean, a lot a lot of these uh, holidays are materialistic at their core anyway, so. Yeah. Kind of immersing yourself in that kind of stuff makes it really fun. And thank you for recognizing that it's not just Christmas that's, like, capitalistic. <laughs> Yeah, and even, like, I, I think the biggest deal uh, about a lot of these holidays for me is it's a, it's a really good excuse to have get-togethers with, with friends. And yeah. It's just, it just feel I don't know what it is, but it just feels so magical, especially around uh, the holiday season. Mm-hmm. So keep that in mind, kiddos. Keep your head up and enjoy the fall and the winter. I know a lot of people probably won't because it's, like, the opposite, but I get seasonal depression and... The quarantine during summer was probably the worst combination of my life. So, this will be good for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. We'll try our best to get stuff out. Um, there will be Christmas, though, so it's fine. Yay! So, uh, apparently I have 5,000 candy. This is, uh... <laughs> Can't you move on to the next area and, now? And, and... And the podcast by going oh, and opening the gate. That is, that's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, go into the Let's unknown. Let's do it. Into the unknown. Let's go. Yeah. Here I go. Wee. All right, I'm gonna give it to the ghost. Open gate. That was anticlimactic. Bruh. What is this thing? It's Shrek. It's Shrek. There's a spider. Oh my god. Look at that. My, my god. Well, Logan, thanks for sticking sticking it out with me here in uh, <laughs> and freaking the what is pumpkin this? is life. These I'm sorry. pumpkins are bigger Ca than our bodies. Oh my Car god. Carve the pumpkin, get the cocaine, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I guess that's all for now. There will be more Spooky Month, but for this recording session, we are very, very exhausted. We are pooped. We tried our Sorry. best. Hopefully, you've had a good time. This is, uh, this is just, this is the way things are going. As per <laughs> usual, ha- Uh, what, what is the thing I used to say? I'd be like, have a good, have a good time? I don't know. Pumpkin Epic heart. moment. Oh, God, I forget. It was like, have a spooky time. Subscribe and have a good time. That's that was our thing. Here we go. Wee wee wee. wee, wee. Happy Halloween. We'll see you in the next podcast. <laughs> We're gonna go sleep for a long time. I'm gonna scoop my brain off the ground and put it back in. <laughs>